Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you my top 10 winter outfits. If you follow me on Instagram, some of you may have seen a few of these already before, but I am tweaking them a little bit just to freshen things up a little bit. Uh, but I hope you enjoy it and let's get into it. So to start off with, I'm wearing my All Saints puffer jacket. This is an absolute favorite of mine. It is so warm and snuggly. The price tag literally makes me want to be sick. I got this as part of a press trip I did with them, but I absolutely love it. It is so warm. It's unreal. I love it. I love the color. It's so unique. It's very rare that you find a coat in this color. I wish they did this in black. I would love it I feel like they might have but it's definitely not in stock right now It has really converted me over to puffer jackets. I'm also wearing it with my All Saints uh, White jumper and some Zara leather look leggings and then a pair of Topshop chunky boots I would normally wear this with my Zara boots But I decided to switch things up a bit and go for something that's a little bit chunkier oh, And the hat is from Zara and my sunglasses are from Givenchy I'll link all of my accessories in the info box below in case I forget to say any of them. I'll also link dupes for anything that is out of stock or there's a more affordable version of something that I'm wearing. Everything will be in the info box down below. Right there. So this next outfit is using the same jumper but I've switched up the trousers and shoes and the base of this outfit is basically one that I think works so well across my entire wardrobe. It's a really great transitional one as well if you're going from winter to spring because you can use a lighter jacket or no jacket at all depending on where you live and your climate. And like I said, every coat in my wardrobe works so well with this aside from leather jackets. That is the one that I wouldn't pair this with purely because the trousers are leather. My jumper again is from All Saints and then the leather trousers are from from Zara. These run a little bit small. They do stretch out, but I would say to size up. So I have these in a medium and they fit really, really well now. But the first time I tried them on, they were very, very tight. After one wash, they get much, much looser though. So uh, bear that in mind when purchasing. And then my shoes are from ASOS. If I remember rightly, I will link them in the info box below. And this is definitely one of my smarter everyday outfits, but you can really casual it down using jackets, hoodies, and that kind of thing, um, or dress it up depending on your outerwear. Today I've chosen to pair it with my new Zara coat this one is very very long so if you are smaller than five foot one this is a bit of a danger zone in terms of dragging on the floor but i absolutely love it i love the print and i just think it's very versatile print because it's neutral uh the coat actually has this really beautiful uh white black and then nude uh thread woven through it so it's not just like stark black and white i just think it's really really unique really gorgeous and i'm also going to be throwing on a hat and my sunglasses with it as well the hat is from zara it's basically the black one of the nude version that i was wearing earlier and sunglasses are the same you know the deal. My third outfit is one that I feel so at home in uh, and I actually don't wear this enough. It's really really simple. It's my leather trousers again that you've just seen paired with my All Saints black hoodie. I have a million black hoodies. This is just one of them and I really love this one. It's a newer addition to my wardrobe and I just think the back of it is so cool. I just love a statement black hoodie. You can really layer up under this as well so you can wear thermals if you want. So do what you need to do for your climate but over the top I've just thrown a Topshop denim jacket. This is actually a really good dupe for my Balenciaga denim jacket it's the same color and the oversized fit is pretty much exactly the same uh, it obviously just doesn't have the branding on the back but it's a great dupe if you're looking to recreate any of my denim jacket looks from the summer i would definitely advise getting your hands on this uh, top shop denim jacket and then for shoes i've gone for my boots again the chunky biker boots is that biker boots combat boots what would you call them chunky lace-up boots we'll go with that i thought it added to the toughness of the look but you could also go for trainers if you wanted you could also do a pointed boot like my previous look if you wanted to go for something that's like really killer but really cash at the same time i really love that vibe and definitely go for that but i wanted to make this a little bit more every day for this one this is a very casual but very warm and snuggly look and to ramp up the warmth a little bit for those colder days i've popped on my zara black hat and then a black scarf which i believe was from asos uh but any black scarf will do uh, i think i got this years and years and years ago black scarf's a black scarf really isn't it so super comfy super casual super warm Love it. Also, can we just take a moment for the fact that I've just realized that I'm missing a Gucci loafer on the rail down there and that will now forever haunt me during the editing of this. Okay, this next outfit has a couple of coat options depending on your preferences. I've gone for one shorter jacket and one longer coat. To be honest, I feel like in the winter, the coat or jacket changes an entire vibe. So this could count as two outfits, I don't really know. The base of the outfit is an old Zara black jumper. Any black jumper this will do, you're gonna tuck it anyway. Then my Topshop Sydney jeans, I think these ones are. And then the same ASOS uh, pointed kitten heel boots. These boots I actually really love because they're super, super easy to walk in. They're very, very comfortable. I can be in 
them all day but they still look absolutely boss like honestly one of the best pairs of shoes i bought in 2019 and of course this wouldn't be one of my videos without featuring a leather jacket i've thrown that over the top i love this vibe i don't wear it enough this and the denim jacket um outfit i honestly need to pledge to wear more this winter because they are just my ultimate comfort zone uh so yeah i've thrown that over the top and then thrown on a black hat from zara and then thrown on the hat and scarf and i just really love the vibe of it you could go for a different scarf there's two scarf options in here the pattern one is from Topshop. I prefer the all black, but I thought I'd give a pattern option seeing as I had it. Um, you could also go for a nude hat with that pattern scarf as well. That could look quite cute. And then for the coat option, I've thrown on my All Saints long line black coat. It has a tie waist. It's the perfect like long length, but not too long coat. So I feel like even if you are on the short side, you can get away with it. And on anyone above five foot two and up to like six foot whatever it will look amazing so i think it's a great one for all heights providing you don't mind a longer coat but this coat switch changes the whole vibe it looks a lot smarter so if that's something that you're looking for then that's definitely one to go for longer coats can often be a little bit warmer as well so if you need the extra warmth i would go in that direction but yeah i love this outfit especially the leather jacket version of it uh, but the base layer underneath is an absolute staple and with this as a base it's all about the accessories it's definitely a combo that i would recommend everyone have in their wardrobe but you're wondering when an outfit was going to come along where I didn't wear the hat weren't you yeah this is it this outfit is the stuff my neutral Pinterest styling dreams are made of I've paired my and other stories high neck nude top with a pair of Zara brownie kind of grayy I don't really know what color to call them brown <laughs> let's go with brown tailored trousers and I really really love this look I think it's one that's great for dressing up or dressing down I popped a pair of trainers on with it for daytime you could also wear boots I feel like my snake print boots would work quite nicely with this uh, but I just threw trainers on because I feel like it's a much more cash and everyday vibe both the trousers and this knit are quite smart so I feel like it balances them nicely and then I popped on my mango coat gun with it just to kind of make it a full neutral brownie toned outfit um you could also wear this with a pair of heels i popped on a pair of heels from june which i am obsessed with and i can't wait until the weather gets warmer so i can wear them all the time but this could be quite a good day to night outfit for the winter time so i thought i'd just throw in that option as a little bit of like extra inspo even though this video is much more geared towards everyday winter outfits but this is why it's a top winter outfit of mine because it has that kind of versatility to it and i also did a hair tuck with this i just thought it kind of added to the look this outfit is a really easy everyday one i've paired a zara high neck sleeveless top with my Topshop mom jeans the high neck sleeveless top is great because it keeps you warm when you're outside like it's covered your whole neck and chest so that's not on show and kind of open to the cold but the fact that it's sleeveless means that it fits really well under any coat so you could pair this with like a tighter leather jacket if you wanted to your options are very very open with a basic like this and i really recommend them for the winter time it might seem like more of a summer top but actually they transition well across every single season and i love blue jeans in winter i think it works so well whether you're wearing darker colors more brownie tones or whites and whites is definitely what i'm going with with this outfit i just popped on a pair of trainers and then threw on my mango coat which is like a teddy bear fur coat so so beautiful so snuggly so warm if it's still in stock i will link it if not i'll try and find something similar and then of course i throw on a hat because i wanted this to feel extra extra warm and snuggly and i also decided to add a scarf which is an older one from acne i got it at vista village so it was an absolute steal but you can find scarves like this everywhere i love this one in particular though because it's super long like so so long and i think it works really well with long line coats next up we have an outfit which i actually keep for slightly milder days days when i don't need to wear a coat purely because this jumper that i'm wearing or cardigan is a little bit chunkier and it doesn't really lend itself towards being worn with a coat so much but you can kind of layer underneath it if you wanted to and make it more of an outer layer in itself i like to wear it on its own i like to wear it on its own on milder days because it's a bit of a statement i love the chunky knit of the cardigan and it kind of falls off shoulder like it's a little bit it's kind of like a v-neck and it's button up and i find that it kind of slouches off of your shoulder a little bit or it does on me anyway and i think that looks really cute with a pair of blue jeans and i've paired it with biker boots as well i really love that contrast of the soft knit and the blue denim then contrasted with a leather chunky boot i just i really love that vibe um, and i put my hair up into a ponytail and just kind of left loose um kind of bits at the front just to give it a softer look just so we have everything really contrasting with the boots and i just love it and i think it's a great one going into spring as well i'm gonna try and maybe do a separate um spring transitional 
video if you guys would like but this is definitely one of those outfits that would make a great transition but also a great at home winter outfit it's just a really nice everyday one for when you're just kind of like pottering or in and out of the car and it's not too cold outside also for you guys in warmer climates it's great outfit number I actually don't know which outfit number this is. Uh, this next outfit uh, is very, very simple, but I'm reusing some of the pieces that I've shown you guys already. I just wanted to give you guys some versatility in terms of like the pieces that you might already have in your wardrobe that you're working with. You can work them into a lot of different outfits with different vibes. Um, so I've gone for my Zara knitted jumper and tucked it into my Topshop mom jeans and then thrown the same chunky boots on again as with the previous outfit. And I really like the combination of the black with the very, very light blue. It brightens the whole thing up. I an outfit that is very very casual also look a little bit smarter as well and i paired it with my all saints coat which is a very smart coat but the jeans and the chunky boots really casual it down so it's a really nice mixed outfit um it's one that you could wear for all different kinds of occasions because it's just kind of that nice in the middle outfit but it's very very warm and snuggly as well so i promise i'm going to stop wearing this zara jumper at some point very very soon uh this is hopefully the last one with it in but it's just such a versatile piece in my wardrobe i've paired it with my zara leather jogger which you will also know are a very 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 loved piece in my wardrobe i love them so much and i wear them all the time um i'm guessing some of you are probably like oh this witch sent a video where she's not wearing them no they're making a return for one outfit moment only i love these so much and i decided to pair them with the uh chunky boots because it's kind of a bit more of a like tough vibe the two of them together it's definitely not a streamlined look in any way because the joggers are so slouchy and then the boots are so chunky so it's definitely more of a i don't want to say androgynous because i feel like it's not technically the right word but it is more of an androgynous vibe it's not super like that way but it's a little bit of a nod in that direction i really like that and i think it works really well with my mango cotigan it's just a really chic almost like scandy ish vibe and i really really like that i've also thrown my scarf on with it and everything like that it's just a really cute outfit and one that i definitely don't get enough wear of and i am pledging that i'm gonna wear this more um that pretty much is the case for everything in this video there are so many outfits in this that i love so much and i need to wear more and this is definitely one of them so i've just counted up all of my outfits and as long as my maths is correct I've got 10 so I'm gonna leave it here for today there's a few more outfits that I had that were slightly lighter um on the warm scale so I'm gonna save those for my winter to spring transitional outfits I hope you guys don't mind if you would like that or any other styling videos please do let me know I would love to do those for you if you're new make sure you subscribe to my channel I would love to see you back for more videos and yeah I hope you've enjoyed this and you're all having the best day and I'll see you guys again very very soon bye